<laughs> you guys, I just got a warning because apparently scuba diving is not allowed in this lake. Hey, I'm Sarah. This is Abby and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the US, Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. Really quick before we get into the video, I have three spots for my dive expedition in December and I want you to come. Check out the details for the trip on my website. I've linked it in the description below and in the top pinned comment. If December is too soon, I just announced new dates for a second trip to Komodo in June 2024. Go check out those trips. I would absolutely love to travel with you and that's it. That's the ad. Let's get into the video. I've got a nervous doggy. No pasa nada, mi amor. Ay, pequeñita. It has been raining like mad here, and I bought some goop. Let's see, actually, I have it right here. Some goop. It's actually called goop. And it's sunny for a little while at least, so I took advantage and put it on my roof. Or I guess I should say my windshield. It's a really terrible looking job, but it just won't stop raining. And I've got like, I mean, when I say leaks, like major leaks. So this is kind of a make it work moment. Not realize how close this was to my face. <laughs> stupid. So f***ing cool. Hey, um, I was hoping to get some information about scuba diving in Jenny Lake. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, if there's regulations now. Is there anyone that you can direct me to, to find out if that's okay? And... Uh, wow. <laughs> you win the award today. <laughs> well, what I was wondering is I haven't been to Jenny Lake yet and um, it looks like the dive site is on the far side. So is, is there a boat? Can I hire somebody to take me over there or? There is a boat that crosses the lake. Uh, a shuttle boat system that's used all day long every day by people. Thank you for the information. <laughs> sure. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. This will be something that they don't see every day. I live to entertain. I had a mouse in here earlier this morning and got everything out of the van and managed to scare it out. And then just now I had another one come in. And this time I saw it come in, the door was open. I'm so tired. I really don't want to sleep with a mouse in my van. Uh, Abby has been utterly useless. She has not helped in any way. She used to be a really good mouse hunter, but sucks not about to empty my van at night, so. <sighs> All right, sweet fun Sarah is over this. I spent the night ransacking my house 
They were up here just doing whatever. I am changing all of my plans. I'm going into Jackson today. I'm buying mouse traps, and this ends. Oh boy. Sarita means business. the mouse crawling over this all night. My fridge was going on and off, so I think I'm going to just place this right here. Attempt number one to catch this thing is in place. I'm not confident, but we're gonna give it a go. This is outside of Jenny Lake, so I don't think there's gonna be any parking, which is an issue for scuba diving. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hey, I have kind of a weird request for information. Um, I wanna scuba dive in Jenny Lake. So I'm just gonna also pull up the rules right now because I think it's just Jenny and Jackson where you can scuba dive. This yeah. Park. Uh, but basically the boats run from the, west, the east boat dock to the west boat dock. All right, plan is a go, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow morning. But since I'm here, I'm gonna hike Hidden Falls. Based off the map online, it looks like the dive site is gonna be right off of this point. There's a bay on the other side, which is where the boat comes in, the shuttle boat. I'm gonna hike up to Inspiration Point just to see if I can get like a bird's eye view. I think that's gonna be it. Now I just gotta figure out entrance. There's a little beach right here next to the boat dock. That seems interesting. That's not a far walk. I drag all my stuff into the water and then just swim around the point. I'm gonna be able to swim a lot easier than it would be to carry everything. Ooh branch. <laughs> I like that plan. Otherwise, I think there's another beach a little ways this way, but like imagine side mount. All right, now to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point. A little behind the scenes of YouTube. <laughs> because I'm in a national park, I can't fly the drone. And actually, my drone is still broken at the moment. So I'm climbing up here to hopefully get a good thumbnail for this video. I always, always forget to take the photo for the thumbnail. So I'm not doing that today. If you're wondering where the majority of my thumbnails for these videos come from, they're usually just hodgepodge, like screenshots or photos that I've taken after the fact. Son cabrones, eh? I'm running away. <laughs> Joder. No entiendo cómo puedes correr. Normally I'd be like, oh, they're so cute. But honestly, with this whole mouse situation, mm -mm. no rodents are cute anymore. Over it. Dirty little poopers. Oh, God. <laughs> it heard me. <laughs> no. Oh my God, you're so fat. Honey, honey, you gotta lay off the chips, honey. It's a problem. Lo siento, pero a ver, estás como una bola. And that, my friends, is why you do not feed the wildlife. Please, for the love of God. Check this thing out. A giant nest. Okay, the bird is up there. That's so cool. Can you see it? Oh my god.
just in case you were curious, never join me for a hike. <laughs> My hikes never turn out to be what I plan them to be. I, I definitely was thinking I was gonna hike for maybe, I don't know, three miles, four miles max. So I wore my sandals and I took like half a bottle of water. 10 miles later, here I am. <laughs> Just don't do it, don't, don't join me. You will hate me. <laughs> I mean, it's always a good time, but you probably will suffer. Just saying. Hello, sweetness. Did you miss me? You're so good. Ooh, there's red ants out here, let's go. Buenos dias. It's 5.15. I set my traps last night. I'm gonna go check them, see if anybody showed up for a peanut butter party. I'm gonna go get my spot at the Jenny Lake parking lot. Time to get up, get up, Sarita, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Today is the day that I finally get to try out <gasps> my brand new DUI undergarments. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so warm. <sighs> I feel like a real dry suit diver now. <laughs> I'm sure you're all gonna miss my preppy goodwill look that I had going for the last year. And just so you know, after my experience with the DPV dive, which if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description below. I, I think I'm gonna take about a million pounds, just all of the pounds, because these things are thick, they are warm, and I obviously underestimated the floatiness of such great undergarments before so I'm gonna be taking all of the weight yeah no mice this morning I'm gonna check the engine when I can actually see later today just to double check that I don't have a dead mouse in my engine new van life they said it'll be fun they said <laughs> today I'm gonna to be taking a dive flag. One, because it is the regulation of the park, but two, because they are not used to seeing divers in the national park. I'm actually gonna be taking this flag along with me during the dive. And luckily I got this primary reel from Dive Right not too long ago. I reached out to them because my plan is to go get sort of a cave refresher in the Yucatan this winter. So I wanted to feature their product and do some cave diving while I'm down there. But hey, this is a heck of a lot better than this nonsense. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this today. I still have this really crap float, but I think today it'll actually be all right because again, I'm gonna just be carrying it along with me. So kind of nice to have a smaller float because anytime we have something at the surface, if there's a lot of wind or current, it's pretty hard to carry it along during a dive. So having something kind of small and compact is beneficial. I just need to get this thing set up. I'm going to put a little string through here and then put my reel through it. Good. Again, with the knife, Sarita, put it away. You're going to hurt yourself. Now, this will come in here. Pass this through here. <laughs> Bam! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much nicer than that other thing. Ready to go. Blow this up once I'm ready to dive, which hopefully there are no mice holes in it. And then I'll put my little flag at the top. Be ready to go. Definitely my favorite way to warm up in the morning. Whew, gonna have to take off some layers for this next tank drop. Everyone has been so nice. They're all surprised that I want to go diving, but they've been really accommodating, just showing me where I can put all my stuff, telling me the logistics, suggestions. It's been awesome. Is the trailhead that way for Jenny Lake trailhead? Yeah, yeah, you can keep going on. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I actually have no idea. I'm a- uh, Adventure time. Yep, I'm exploring it today, so we'll see. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Oof, these are thick. Ooh. 
going to dust this. Extra weight. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of this put into place and head down. I'm not taking this camera with me, so goodbye. If you plan on doing this dive, prepare yourself for a lot of inquisitive looks and questions from people. During the summer, pretty much all of the boats are full, so communicate with the crew and be organized while getting on and off the boat. My original plan was to head south, but as I talked to the boat captains, it became clear that the more interesting part of the west side of the lake was located near the boat dock. Here you can see the top of the underwater forest that was waiting for me below. I usually don't do more than 30 meters, but we'll see. <laughs> I, I sometimes get inspired once I'm down there. <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> These trees were discovered in the 80s, and there have been a few theories about why this underwater forest exists. Experts have determined that landslides from the surrounding mountains carried the trees to their current location, with some of the trees ending up completely upright due to the heavy rocks lodged in their root system, which guided them straight to the bottom of the lake. These trees have been preserved thanks to the chilly water found at depth. Jenny Lake in its deepest points can reach well over 200 feet, which is beyond anything I was planning to do that day. However, there are plenty of trees within recreational limits. An important safety note, Jenny Lake is at 6,783 feet of elevation, so special altitude diving safety precautions and dive planning must be used. I've linked my video about altitude diving in the description below if you want to learn more. This place is a zoo. I gotta get out of this. It's so hot, but good dive. Oh my God. It got down to 40 degrees at depth, but guess who wasn't cold? <laughs> you guys, I just got a warning because apparently scuba diving is not allowed in this lake. <laughs> She's gonna find out if it's actually not allowed. If it's not, you're never gonna see any of this footage anyway, because <laughs> I do not need to go to court over a YouTube video. <laughs> 
Oh shit. I really thought that I did my due diligence looking into this. Like I contacted so many people, but she gave me all these resources for diving in federal uh, places. <laughs> What do you call that in the United States? I don't know. So anyway, I'll find out later today if I can actually use any of this. For anyone interested in diving in national parks, you can look up the Superintendent's Compendium and each national park has one. It is a very long document here. Check it out. I just did a little search, Superintendent's Compendium, Grand Teton and NPS.gov came up. Go here, it takes you to the National Park Service website, and you can actually look at the full compendium. 45 pages. I think it's here-ish. Zoom. In this document, we have regulations for swimming, snorkeling, and underwater diving. I just got the okay. <laughs> So it is allowed. You are allowed to dive in Jenny Lake. You just have to have a flag marking your location the whole time. And there's some other requirements about not professionally guiding people and then commercial shooting. So if you're going with models and lights and stuff, there's other requirements, but obviously a solo mediocre YouTuber does not qualify for that. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Yeah.